Explain this to me. Question seven says, how can you draw representations to show that two thirds is not always equivalent to four six? I've been tagged several times on that video and also on her follow up to that video with the correct answer. And I just have some thoughts. The first thing to say is a disclaimer that I'm a college mathematics professor and not a K through 12 educator. So I'm not the most qualified person to comment on this, but I do have some thoughts. Second is a request to all of you to always be generous and charitable with your interpretation of one assessment from one teacher. Um, it is very often that I see that somebody will post one uh, a snapshot of one question, one assessment from one K through 12 teacher, and then people make all sorts of assumptions and uh, they are ready to get their pitchforks out. Um, but we do not know what is happening in the classroom. We do not know in what context the students in this case are learning about fractions. What has been said? What hasn't been said? Uh, have they seen assessments of that specific format or of that specific concept or, or that take about fractions? We don't know. That said, most of us consider two-thirds and four-sixths to be equivalent fractions because a fraction denotes a ratio, a proportion, and both numbers denote exactly the same proportion. However, the number itself can be interpreted in different ways. For example, suppose that John and I have three apples between the two of us, and John decides to eat two apples. Well, he had options. He could have eaten one apple or two apples, and either he eats less than I do or he eats more than I do. Not very good options, but he decided to eat two. But suppose now we have six half apples and John decides to eat four halves. Then John is an a-hole because he had the option to eat three out of six, but he decided to eat four out of six. In both cases, four out of six and two thirds, it's the same proportion, but the number itself tells a different story of what happened with the apples and it tells you that John is an a-hole in one of the cases. Now the answer that the teacher gave to that problem doesn't quite make sense to me because they were saying something like two-thirds of an apple is different from four-sixths of a banana and of course those are things are different because we're talking about different units and different uh, rational numbers but um, also two thirds of an apple and two thirds of a banana are different things. So if that's the point they were trying to make, they didn't need to choose two different versions of two thirds of that same ratio. Um, so in any case, but I would love to be a fly in the wall of that classroom to know what has happened up to, up to that point. So I can make a decision on like the pedagogy of this, uh, of this question but we were not there, so we should not get our pitchfork out uh, to judge before we know more context.